Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here, another episode of Imperialism. Uh, let's go ahead and skip this turn here. So much war, and I have nothing to do with any of it. Pretty awesome. Build it up. Defend. Still looking good. 23 rail cars, still ready for deployment. Zim has a navy more than twice as strong as ours. You sure, brah? Why don't I fix that in like three turns? Um, bid on this. Uh, you know what? Just keep keep making the shirts. Keep making it. I still need a good sellable product. Uh, that can go up. Yeah, I'm done with recruitment for a little bit, I think. And I want a port here. Because that'll connect all that crap. Now, I also need a thing here. To get me that extra lumber. Cool, more fabric. Um, is everybody happy? Or Dune is still pretty cheesed off at me. Um... Good and excellent. I'm very happy with that. Um, I gotta figure out how to get ahead of Zim in terms of military. Not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna have to do it. Am I still making, like, eight guns a turn? Yeah. That's pretty awesome, too. Okay. Nice, so much lumber. This is good. This is really good. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah. So I cut down my clothing production crazy. Uh, sell all of that. Stop selling guns. Sell all of that. More food production. Don't forget, I, I think I mentioned in another series that uh, food production does not stay constant. You have to come in here and keep adjusting it. Cool, lots of fabric making things, which is good. Uh, nothing there. Cap this off. Okay, navy twice as strong as ours. Um, I'm not interested in making ironclads. Eight more ship of the lines. Yeah. That's... That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Good. And another admiral. Oh, which actually is an ironclad. Awesome. Um, okay, that's another route connected now. Move out. Um, okay, military's still good. Fine. I I'm sure I'm getting closer and closer to the next level. Uh, which I'm guessing is good. Or, or uh, duh. Which I'm guessing is excellent, I mean. Um, wow, I just burned through all that. Uh, how much am I eating through? 24? Eh, I'm producing about that. Um, I don't need as much paper anymore. Yeah, I'm still producing... I'm still bringing in 10 more lumber. So we still we still should have a surplus of some caliber. I don't have to come in here every turn and do food. We've got more than enough stuff. Um, okay, what is my military composition? That's what I want to know. I'm sitting on 40,000. Um, I would like... More... Uh, mounted troops. 
10 seems like a good number. Um, then that'll give me another 10 labor. Because I know I lost a good chunk of it with that recruitment. Another general. Yeah, I should be getting to a point where it's very clear and obvious that our economic prowess is really starting to kick off. There wasn't any upgradable forestry down here, was there? Nope. Okay. Uh... Sure. I have 26 ships. 20 of them being ships of the line, which is awesome. Much higher quality naval vessel. Still good? Alright, still good. Uh, mechanical Reaper, not super interested in that right now. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Yep, we are still actually making more than we are consuming in terms of lumber, which is awesome. Or Dune's still mad. Yeah, still pretty cheesed off at me for whatever reason. Kind of low on cash here. Oh, my credit limit? Uh, 14,000. Okay, so I'm getting very close to that. I never checked it after I said I wanted to check it. And you're not going to let me, right? Because credit. You let me do that, though, which is at least nice. 48 furniture. Man, I wish someone in this game would like furniture. Um, I wonder if I really need to start opening up more trade consulates, uh, actually. Everything is accounted for. I can't. There we go. That was some money. 32 furniture. Wow. That does not carry as hard as it used to, also because I have 10%? I think I gave Manx 10%, or whoever runs the place now. Uh, gosh knows who. Um, what sells more, hammers or guns? Guns. Uh, oh, hammers by a slight margin. We can sell 30 food a turn. We, we have the capacity and everything. Um, could go more navy this turn. I don't see why not. Eight more ships of the line. Okay, that kind of takes care of that. I want you right there so I could work on expanding over here some more. Okay, still good? Ugh, still good. Okay, two other nations are fair. Two other nations are good. One is excellent. You know what? That's, I'm actually pretty okay with that. Um, now, now I need to start re-recruiting. I burnt through all my troops. Um, I'm still bidding on steel. Three regiments of guards, which is just cute. Oh no. How many is this? Uh, 20... 34? Yeah. 
That's gonna screw up someone's life the second I use these to blockade. Yep, feeling pretty good. I'm actually starting to run out of stuff to sell. Which is actually kind of funny. And sad. But also funny. And a little sad. Ooh, I got some good textiles. Cotton and such with that run. Uh, yeah, that'll do. There we go. Yep, I can really get the work, the workforce right behind it, no problem. Um, I have a bunch of paper stashed. Yeah, that was the whole reason why I wanted to start making, uh, stockpiling up a bit of paper. It saved up pretty nicely. Six steel, bunch of cotton. New technologies are available. Right. I forgot about that. There, Mechanical Reaper. Happy? Let's just go over here and just snag that up. Uh, okay. Need 13. I'm transporting 40. Need... Where did this go? Need 14. I'm transporting 24. Need 20. I'm transporting 79. Holy craps. Yeah. You can see why now it's not so critical to have all that maxed out. I like to have it maxed out. That's a personal thing, whatever. Let's tap that out. Yes, absolutely. More, more workforce. Oh, did I train? Oh, I totally did, right. Uh, looks good. Gosh, no one really wants to do a lot of training, do they? Um, one more. Oh, um, there we go. Might as well get the full use of the tech I just bought, yeah? Uh, looks good. Probably running low on paper now, yeah. Uh, 24 is 12 times 2, and I'm bringing in, what, 10 more lumber? Yeah, that's, that's good. So we're still making 10 lumber every turn. Um, regardless of all the furniture I'm making. Nope. There we go. I saw some good cotton in there. Would have liked to have seen more steel, but I am not going to cry about it. Um, that's got that. That's uncovered. These two are uncovered. This stuff's uncovered. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can build through hills now, which is good. Um, I want to combine these. Like, get a build right here, because if someone blocks this, all these resources are estranged to me, and that would not be great. It would be the actual opposite of great. Um, do I have the... No. Level 3 mines come much later. They'll take a while to come around. There's that, there's that, there's this. There we go. Um, food, by a boatload. A few more. Yeah, I want to have about 40 deployable troops, you know, of that, of the workforce, ready to go. That's kind of my go-to. Um, you can now just sell as much of that crap as you want. I'm literally hand over fist producing food. And, eh. Every transaction helps. 
Am I still just good? Yeah, good and excellent. Which is fine by me. Sorry, I'm noticing while I'm recording, I've got a bit of the sniffle action going on. Uh, that's always good news, right? Five more horse... dudes? <laughs> Carbine Cavaliers, was it? Uh, Carbine Cavalry. Okay. Cavaliers, that was pretty darn close. Um, I wouldn't mind some more combat engineers and siege artillery. I think I don't have a lot of that stuff. Um, let's take a check. Yeah, I would like eight more of each or something. Yes. Okay, that actually added a nice extra layer of redundancy to the system. Um, even if I'm blockaded via ocean, um, that's still good. That adds that adds a little bit more resilience to it. I'm very happy for that. Um, let's just get you right over there, because I don't need you right now. Um, can't believe it, but I'm out of money some more. I wonder if the prices of the market are a little more fragile. Um, I wonder if, like, I shattered some market I don't even realize I shattered. Because I'm having a dickens of a time trying to make money. Granted, I'm stockpiling military stuffs again, but this shouldn't be this difficult to try to make a bit of coin. Um, whatever. Oh, military upkeep. Oh! Okay. Okay, we didn't win. But two things have occurred. The first one is we're a contender now. We have not been a contender so far, I don't think. I don't think so. I don't remember. <laughs> I've been, over the last three days, I did easy, normal, and now I'm on hard. I'm starting, the, the games are starting to mix together. Sue me. Anyway, the first thing that occurred is we're on the docket. The second thing that has occurred is other great powers and other minor nations support me a lot. The only thing that Ordun has going for it is colonies. But if I can get Zim, Deneb, and Hexaco on board... Actually, Pentagon voted for me. That's pretty awesome. Good to see a bunch of minor nations uh, tipping their hat to me as well. Uh, that being said, I don't plan on venturing into the bowels of war anymore for this game. Um, in all reality, I can't really think of too much more that I'm going to accomplish with wartime strats. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it panned out, though. Uh, this could have been way worse. Speaking of stuff, that. And where else? I actually think you're done, buddy. Oh, can you upgrade horses? Of course you can't. Um, you can upgrade that. Very good. Very good. Uh, yep. That's gonna happen. Okay, my military upkeep is ridiculous. The AI absolutely has to be cheating in order to maintain a military prowess of this of this magnitude. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ramp up our industry so hard. Um, let's get a few more things in line. Yep. Nope. I'm I'm very thankful for the votes, Pat Patagon, but it's not gonna happen, man. It just really isn't. Um, I did get everything, right? You know what? I have not tapped the gold yet, have I? What is... What is getting that? That is getting that. That is getting that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I was waiting for the tech. I completely spaced on that. I was like, I wonder if I got everything, because there's been so many games I've played, not like this one, but there's been so many games where the resources are inside the mountain. It's like, how are we going to get that, like, ever? And now that answered my question. Okay. 
So the answer is no more military. Um, that upkeep is absolutely insane. And if I'm just going to go into an arms race with this guy, it's not going to get anywhere. I would be better off giving everyone $1,000 every turn. You see, 50, watch the number, 14. Now it's going to be like 7. Yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. This gold will offset very nicely, though. Okay, sell, 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 sell. Right now, the objective is to stockpile on everything I possibly can while building weapons. How are we on food? We're really good on food. I could keep building up my workforce as well. Good. More stuff to import. I really think you're done, buddy. I can't see another thing I could have you upgrade. So just sit right there. Okay. Lumber, cloth, or lumber fabric and wool slash cotton. Excellent. Now, if this series or any of the imperialism ones I've done for you, or any other imperialism uh, playthrough interests you in playing imperialism, there's also an imperialism 2. To be absolutely honest, have not ever wrapped my head around it. I played it way back when, it didn't really interest me. I had imperialism 1. Imperialism 1 was perfection, in my opinion. Um, let's do this. So, there's, you know, there's other options out there. If, if this sort of game interests... Um, Imperialism 2 is everyone's European, and the New World is open for taking. That's really the storyline behind it. There's not really a ton else involved. Uh, just... Oh, that's the wrong button. Sleep. Oh no! My industry's only good now! Oh no's! Oh no's is is! Um, I really need more steel. How many guns am I making? Seven? How about let's stop that for like eight turns, and let's just... Double up everything. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that'll do. Um, so if you do a little mental math here, 34 times 2 is 68. 68 is how much effort these train workers provide. If all of these guys leave and go to the military, the problem with that is I don't have enough stuff to... I don't have enough... Uh, what am I thinking? Labor to make up for what I'm missing. So realistically, the important thing is I need to make sure that we're staying on point and we have enough skilled labor around. Um, I also need more cars soon. Okay, so one more turn on not producing weapons. And I want to upgrade all my stuff. Do I need it? No, but I really like having that excellent marker. Um, okay, so, 35. This capacity is 32. I'm only using 28. Upgrade. Uh, 16. Upgrade. It's getting very close. 12. Yeah. Um, upgrade anyway. How much do I have left? 11. Uh, there's 4. And there's 4. This should definitely get my industry rating back to excellent. If it doesn't, I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, I just kind of imagined myself crying. That's actually kind of funny. Um, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more. That's another 40. I don't need it, but I want economic and industrial superiority at any cost. Yep, I sold a bunch of crap today. 128. Okay, my industry is excellent yet again. Perfect. I will take I will take that title any day of the week. Uh, one, two, three. Gosh, there's a lot of money I just wasted by not tapping up that gold. That's okay. Lesson learned. Pay attention. Um, there's nothing really I need engineers for anymore. I'm good on food. I'm good on... I think this... No, that's covered. Um, just come back. I don't really need anything right now. Believe it or not. Um, are these cotton things up to two or three? There are three. Or are there two? Let's go to three. Technology. Farmers to improve orchards. I don't even need that. Like, 
We're bringing in so much stuff, I don't need to expand anymore. Which is a fine situation. Expansion would be very expensive at this juncture anyway. So, realistically, me going all Yosemite Sam on some mofos really wouldn't pan out to my advantage, I don't think. Um... Yep, we're good. Yeah, we're looking real good. Um, am I only bringing in... I'm only bringing in six fruit. That's what's killing me. So... Um... I guess another farmer makes sense. There we go. Yeah, that'll actually help out a bunch. Ooh. Hey, test out my new economy here. Uh, I'm actually out of wool. Or out of fabric. Let's tone that down a little bit. I would like to have some surplus in case I need to build a navy. One farmer. Very good. Sleep. Uh, You, wake up. Over there. Fruit. Ooh, two more furniture. Looky, looky. Everyone's still mad. Oh, or Dune's coming back around. They were orange, I think. Um, okay, let's start working on Operation... Oh. Let's start working on Operation Give a Bunch of Money Away. Is that everybody? One, two, three, four, five. Five nations left? You start with seven minus the one. That's it. Cool. Very good. So, $5,000 is out of the way from grants 7000 for military so that means 12000 is just going to poof away every turn um let's just see here military upkeep bought um it doesn't display on the bottom line my grants which is kind of crap um fruit Uh, that's all maintained, yeah? Just want to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, looks good to me. Very good. Um, Yes. More stuff just being produced of its own volition. Oh, good. Uh, clothing. That's something I'm always happy to attract much more of. And more of this. Realistically, combat is really kind of what draws out the game a bunch. And I mean a bunch. Because this, this whole game has been very non-military, which has been awesome. I've been able to call every single shot that's been made, which has been great. I've been engaging when I want to, where I want to, how I want to, everything. It's been awesome. Um, this has been a much easier, hard playthrough. Now, maybe it's because we built up our military and we were the first to attack. I wanted to make sure we were top dog. So we assaulted immediately to get the ball rolling on that. And maybe that's what helped. Maybe that's really what sealed the deal. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll never know. Still at the point, I think I'm pretty darn happy with how this has panned out. Um, yeah. Everyone feeling better? Oh, that yellow turned the next level. I'm smelling a fat, 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 uh, pack of votes. Next Council of Governors. 
Let's go ahead and save, and let's take a break here. Poof. Hard is hard. <laughs> All right, my name is John Megacycle. Thanks again for joining me. Another episode of Imperialism's in the Books, and I hope to catch you next time.